Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Amazing. How about you? I'm superb. Superb. Okay. Yeah. How did your day go? Day was also fine. Yeah, it was a great day. As uh, I have a continuous three days holidays from tomorrow onwards. So yeah, it was a bit productive day, but yeah, it was fine. Hmm. Three days continuous holidays because of the shara. Uh, no, not because of the shara. Actually, too. Yesterday was Eid, right? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of yesterday's holiday, they we postpone our leave on tomorrow and uh, Friday, Saturday is anyways my off days. So that's how I'm getting three days off from hmm. work. Yeah. Okay, Friday and Saturday are your holidays instead of Sunday. Okay. Off days, Sunday. Yes. Okay, okay. The holidays got postponed to Thursday. Yeah, that's how you say two. Okay. Okay, how were your college days? What did you do after your college? Where did you hang out with your friends, and what kind of activities that did you enjoy? College days were actually spent in a uh, canteen most of the time. <laughs> canteen, then of course, like wherever we we get place uh, to like sit and eat something and talk a lot. Uh, so yeah, we used to. Uh, sit uh, in such places and uh, yeah that's how I spent my college days it was fun and yeah I still remember those days we used to eat pani puri as a breakfast when we were in college <laughs> really pani puri for breakfast it's so funny I mean I cannot say breakfast but uh, we, we we had lecture uh, till 7 to 10 that was a time for of our college and after lecture we directly used to go to eat pani puri and i mean not always but yeah sometimes so yeah, that was the fun part oh i like masala puri more like in south this is like very famous in, in north i know like you don't really get it masala puri. yeah okay i don't know masala puri but i can say sukha puri or like uh, sev puri Ah, that is different. Uh, puri, which is I know, sukha puri or like uh, yeah, yeah, sukha puri <laughs> even I like, but masala puri, God, God bless me for living in the south for this particular thing. <laughs> oh my God! Actually, I haven't heard about it, and as you are expressing it in such a way, I think I should, I should try it, and definitely, whenever I'll get a chance to visit south, I'll try to find this special dish. That yeah. Puri. yeah when you when you visit south you should have like this exclusive class with me and then i will tell you all the things that you have to do here and eat okay. <laughs> all right so before leaving for uh, before leaving south i should have a like session with you and then you'll explain me everything that would be actual uh, that would be actually helpful for me yes, yes. definitely that would helpful or that would be helpful that would be helpful for me yeah that would be helpful for me yes okay okay do you think uh, teenagers uh, should uh, do um, after school jobs or after college jobs like how uh, in a lot of countries they, they do this right that they compulsorily work yes for two to yes. three hours at least after college or school uh, do you think even in india we should follow that that sort of a thing uh, of course, I mean, why not? We always try to co copy others' traditions, uh, which we like. I mean, according to our convenience, we copy their traditions. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think in this case, we should be uh, like aware or responsible. And this is my favorite part. I think, yeah, why not? People uh, in foreign countries are more vocal about it that they're working somewhere, whether it is in uh, like bar or working as a waiter or whatever right. it, they are working in petrol pump i mean whatever the place is they are not uh like embarrassed they are not uh shameful or they are just expressing that i am working part-time even in korean uh, like um web series mm -hmm. or series mm -hmm. i have like observed many times that they do a part-time job in uh, restaurants and anywhere and they are like 
after their um, working hours they are uh, meeting their boyfriends and it's so cool i mean they are so expressive <laughs> it's so good but in india it's not in india we still think that um, working when you are studying is quite uh, like why why do you want to work or sometimes when we need to work then also we try to hide that we are working somewhere even i have done that while like going somewhere uh, i have started working i think uh, from second year of my college and i used to i i didn't uh, tell anyone or i used to hide uh, from my friends that i'm working part time or something like that because uh, it was not i think now it's quite normal but that time it was very strange thing or people used to judge you on the basis of uh, you're working somewhere as a part time and you're getting less salary mm-hmm. uh, correct correct i do understand especially when you're a starter or like a fresher sorry uh, you you do get paid less but you kind of enjoy working in that particular place and even though that little money gives you so much happiness you know right? yes 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 so uh, it's the thrill that you really want to work maybe not have strenuous work like full full day or something very very strenuous because in india even our education system it's kind of harder than abroad so you know yes. um, balancing both like how other people in other countries might do is a little difficult for us if you see 10th board exams or if you see how much people are studying and they're doing this yeah. lot of exams and etc so i understand it can be hard but you're right about the point where you said that a lot of people are embarrassed like if 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 i were to say oh i'm working at a petrol pump it might not be taken that uh, um nicely right that okay she's doing it just for experience or something there uh, there would be a lot of judgments so exactly yeah exactly. I, yeah i understand yeah it's good uh, even i used to work uh, in in college I do part time jobs etc because i love makeup you know so <laughs> i uh, okay. but that's so cool. yeah i mean you know, we were working for some reasons but i think we have learned a lot of things uh, from that job part time job i think we value money we started valuing money started valuing money yeah we started valuing money yeah we start valuing money and i think okay so my first salary was 1300 rupees when i started working okay. i used to work in a like medical store in in a mm-hmm. pharmacy and like i have learned a lot of things from there now also i remember this things and i it's somewhere very useful for me that i have a good knowledge about medicines so yeah mm-hmm. of course it's 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 a good experience when i uh, reminisce i want to this reminisce yeah when i reminisce uh, those memories i feel like wow i mean yeah it's so good ah uh, yeah you can just say when i reminisce it's really yeah. really good okay it already includes memories right yeah according to me yeah but i, I really have to go, go and refresh on this word but according to me it, it already includes the part of yeah, memories yeah. okay I, I, also, i also think and i also like read it somewhere that when i reminisce those things i feel good Ah, huh. okay. Ah, uh, yes, it is when I saw. So, um, what did you do with your first salary? Okay, so I think I haven't done anything. So the reason I have started working is I lost my bicycle in my tuition in my class, <laughs> and like uh, my parents were angry on me. They were like, like how could you? Though I'm very good, I'm very responsible. I do like to take care of my things, but that time it happened suddenly. I mean, I don't know how. And uh, on that, uh, you know, like, how can I say? On that uh, note, like, I lost my bicycle, and it's my responsibility to buy it again. I started mm-hmm. working, and yeah, I started saving money to buy the new bicycle again. So yeah, that's how mm-hmm. it is. <laughs> Okay, so did you finally end up buying a bicycle for yourself? Yes, yes, and it was oh. the best one. I think, yeah, I I uh, have bought the best bicycle from that market when I collected uh, enough money, and yes, so it's a very good memory for me, and I think it's an achievement for me more than a memory that yeah I did it finally. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Oh, that's very nice. It, it's it's really so nice to cherish these things. uh because you feel so proud of yourself and like you can always pat yourself on the back that you got these little things for Absolutely. yourself right 
Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, uh, yes. Okay, so when I used to save like a little money to, for like per day basis, I used to save it for tender coconut water, you know, because I was so fond of it. <laughs> I'm like, first, I'm going to save for tender coconut. Then I'm going to spend for all the other things, you know. That, that, was, that was like my priority. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> That's so sweet. And I think uh, in that time or in earlier days, uh, um, like value of 100 rupees or value of like uh, rupees in uh, in like hundreds, 200, 500 rupees was much higher than uh, now. Than mm, like Absolutely. Yes. I mean, uh, now if, even if we have 13,000 rupees, we don't value much. You are but right. But I think 1,300 rupees were much Oh, it's also because when you go to college you you have like little money right you, you don't have like too much yeah. so uh, yeah yeah you were saying something no can you just uh, correct me uh, like what did i say i want it to be in a like a proper format like what did i say in earlier days is fine the uh, like value of money was uh, much or like how can i say it okay. like i said that now I don't think it's fine. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when you said in that time, it's at mm -hmm. that time, that at time. that time, or or you know, um, in earlier days, we can't say earlier days because that's too much. You know, okay. that, that's too much in time. So when we were in college, that time. yeah, when we were in college or at that time, um, the value of hundred rupees was greater because we could buy more things in hundred rupees, and now even like thirty thousand is like really less for us. Um, we, because you know we, we are able to, first of all the expenses have increased and yes. uh, and we have become more greedy honestly so <laughs> yeah that's the like most important <laughs> no matter how much you work how much you earn you always uh, you always want to buy uh, more and your greed mm. always increases or rises absolutely yeah so do you think that um, financial advice should be um, available for everybody because you know that in school we don't really learn how to like save or invest or what to do with like our money properly so do you think that such uh, sort of information should be available for everybody all students and everybody yes yes i think it should always be there uh, i think it should start from school also from school syllabus then only we will understand it gradually because mm -hmm. uh, in college we we might have got some subjects which is finance related but i don't think we actually uh, take it seriously and we actually implement those uh, things in our life so i think we should uh, like we should taught those things we should get taught we, we should, should be, taught. be taught we should be taught those things from our school day so that uh, it will be, uh, you know, we will um, inculcate those things eventually. And once we grow up, we will actually get to know what we need to do our, with our finances or with our money, with the money we are earning. And yeah, that's how, like how much money we have to spend, how much money we have to save actually. I think everyone should save some amount or some percentage of money from their salary. It's really very important. And I think in pandemic, we must have really realized that how much important saving is. So our saving is how much important. So how important savings are. How important savings are, yes. Yeah, uh, I think uh, even when you told those things, it's actually these things. I forgot the sentence that you were saying. Yeah, but you kept mentioning, yeah. Uh, when financial advices and savings etc such advices they these things must be taught to us okay? these things okay we are not talking about the things which had happened already so these things okay yeah no, no not just that these instead of those things okay because you're speaking about something that's near to you okay. when you're speaking of something that's close by to you you say these and when these. something is a little distant you say those you know those Okay, yeah, we should uh, like we should be taught about these things. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Pronunciation: these things. These these things. Yeah, if you if you say this, it'll yes. be t h i s. This these hmm? these right. things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, are you an early bird or a night owl? Okay, so I already discussed about this. I think in my last session, I don't oh, yeah. know how we do this session document again, but that's uh, fine. I'm an, an early bird and not an uh, night, sorry, not a night owl. Okay, not, owl. not a night owl. What time do you get up? Yes. Mm -mm, 6.30. 6 I mean, my alarm is on. Yeah, my alarm is off six o'clock. Alarm is off six o'clock. My alarm, my alarm, my alarm is at six. Okay, yeah. My alarm rings at six and I get up at six thirty somehow. I managed to. <laughs> hmm, that's early. That's nice. Okay. Uh do you get good dreams when you sleep? Mm, not actually. Actually, every day I get dreams, but uh in the morning or in the next morning. Uh, I don't remember anything. Mm. That is the very bad thing. Sometimes I try to recall or remember the dreams I have seen in the night, but it's it's really like it's hardly I can hardly uh, remember what I have seen. Recall? Or, I can hardly recall. I can hardly recall. Yeah, I can hardly recall. I don't know why, but it's a problem. Sometimes I really wanted to because some dreams are so nice, and I. <laughs> <laughs> and I really want to like recall them and like enjoy them, enjoy uh, them, enjoy, yeah, enjoy the dreams. Yeah, but but it never happened to me. I'm so unlucky. Oh, <laughs> uh, so what I do is um when the dream is very nice, I'll wake up, okay, but I will continue it. I'll close my eyes and I will start like narrating a story. I'm like, okay, Jill, now dream this, now dream <laughs> that uh you are here and then i'll be very particular i'm like oh so i need to wear like a very good dress when i'm in this dream <laughs> i need to look really nice i don't want to look sleepy <laughs> oh my god like in dream also you want to be perfect or you want to... <laughs> that's so i mean that's so nice it, it's it's really i don't know why but i have this habit of just being dressed you know that's all that's the I think uh, that shows like you love yourself a lot. I do. Uh, the thing is, uh, because of my marketing job, I'm so used to being presentable everywhere. So it yes. becomes like a habit. I, I cannot not do it. So it's just that. Okay. So it's, it's the like uh, requirement sometimes and now it becomes your habit. Mm -hmm. Correct. So okay. actually, I figured it out when we talked for the first time, when you told me that you are a marketing professional and got to know, okay, that's why she's so dressed up and she <laughs> looks so, because uh, you guys have a different, uh, like, impact on your customers or your clients mm -hmm. that you should look good presenting you have to present things and for that, I think you have to look good. Yeah, it just like builds your confidence somehow. So yes, exactly. Yeah, then you're like, oh, you okay. Oh, now I'm chill. See, that's why I can be like, oh, all of Arushi's viewers and fans. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they like you so much. So like, yeah, you can always say them hello and they'll always like adore you. I, I, I tell them here and there in the session, I tell them. <laughs> it's sweet, like, so sweet. Do you, do you like fairy tales or any fairy tales that you've um, heard when you were younger? Do you remember any? Uh, I don't actually like fairy tales a lot. I don't know why. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't like um experienced uh stories and all. And I think we we didn't have TV at home. We didn't mm -hmm. have TV. It's fine, right? Yeah, we didn't have a TV at home. We didn't have a TV or television at home since our tenth standard. So. I was barely watching TV shows or some like uh, that, you know, Cartoon Network things in my mm -hmm. uh, in my young young age. So of course, like I don't remember a lot of things. That is the only reason. My parents were strict, and uh, yeah, they were like once you, as you have mentioned, your tenth board exam and all. So we have that phobia in our. Um, home that once you pass your 10th exam then only we'll have tv and then only you will be you will allow to watch tv though will i mean be allowed you you will be allowed to watch tv you will be allowed allowed 
you will be allowed to watch tv yes but it's not like that we didn't watch tv used to watch tv like uh, at neighbors home or at neighbors home yeah in our in our neighbors house in our in our neighbors house and yeah uh, or some sometimes uh, in our friends house so yeah we managed to watch but i mean when you have tv at your home and you're watching at at someone's place it's like it it makes difference i mean you cannot watch things according to you you are only allowed to watch whatever is going on or whatever is um, running on the tv mm. right so yeah that's the difference yeah you can't maybe watch that's TV? why i don't have uh, maybe that's can, why you don't have yeah you maybe that's watch. why i don't have sorry tell me okay i was saying that you can't uh, watch according to what you want okay according to you no according to what you want yeah according to what i want or according to what i would like to watch mm-hmm. i was not able to so yeah mm-hmm. that's the only reason i don't have a lot of memories or a lot of uh, like memories or a lot of incidents uh, that is related to the fairy tales or tv shows or cartoon networks that's the reason Mm. sometimes i feel bad also like people have a lot of memories of their childhood they keep talking about the cartoon networks their characters and all and i'm like okay so that was also there i missed it <laughs> yeah i really love cartoons so much even now i watch cartoons because i i i like to be stress free okay and i like to have fun i don't like watching something serious so i would just like switch on shin chan or something and like watch shin chan is my favorite i mean who don't like it i I think now also I can watch uh, Shin Chan all the day, and it's always like uh, funny, and you can always feel happy whenever you watch it. So yes, hmm. correct. Instead of all the day, all day. Okay, no the. No the all day. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think it was a very fun, fun conversation today. I really liked it. So okay, I think we are already running out of time. It's yeah, I didn't time. realize. You know, I didn't See realize. Here. <laughs> Same here. When. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so grammatically, again, be at on in, lot of confusion. Okay, here and there you're missing out. Now it's confusing me also sometimes when you ask me. So um, keep a check on that. Uh, when you say since our tenth standard, you know we didn't have TV until tenth mm-hmm. standard we didn't have TV. Since we since? yeah since because uh, that has a different meaning then and no, that's I not what you mean. I know it's wrong. Okay. Yeah. And when you say, mm-hmm. in my young age, uh, in my youth, or when I was young, yeah, okay, so. in my young age, we don't really use it like that. Um, in my youth, when I was young, okay. Mm. And when you say they are not shameful, it's better to say you know that they they are not shameful. It's better to say they don't feel ashamed. Okay, much better way. Mm. um when you ashamed and when when you say that till 7 to 8 when you're taking the time till 7 to 8 o'clock um i think it was a different context from 7 to 8 o'clock was your context in that sentence okay uh parents were angry on me parents were angry at me and i made this correction before okay Take parents me. angry at me okay i'm sorry okay. yeah and uh, can you pronounce syllabus syllabus yes i mean we have uh, uh, have discussed about it again okay did so, i use it incorrectly again yes so yes. syllabus Flow. little syllabus. accent syllabus okay syllabus okay and the difference between leaving and living L I V I N G living, L E A V I N G living, leaving little more stress, okay. little more stress, leaving. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Actually, someone, uh, other person should understand what you're trying to say. So yeah, you'll change the whole meaning sometimes, and yeah. like even these and those and this, uh, this little confusion. So try to just like focus a lot on the pronunciation. Say it out loud like five to six times. so you get it in your mind that okay this is how i i have to say okay only few words require a bit of accent we don't have to put accent in all our language it's just very very few words that you put an accent so that it it's clearer 
and sounds yeah. nicer so language um it's not only about speaking the right words it's also about sounding well you know phonetically um a lot of people don't pay attention to phonetics but phonetics is very very important there are some words that have such good sounds you know when you say cherish see how good it sounds right when you pronounce the h very well so it's good to concentrate on these sounds it sounds good also yeah that's right that's why we use it because these uh, sounds also give you a feel so it's very important to add whenever you like uh, you speak any word or whatever you speak you speak with the feel and that's why it comes within you maybe i i have observed these things a lot of times